Today we're going to look at lesson 14, um, and it's going to be a little bit different than previous lessons. This one is kind of a hodgepodge of some different things. Um, I didn't, I took some stuff from some different um, sections in Math Excel and put them together to make one assignment. So um, the notes are going to be a little bit different, but that's okay. Um, it's all related to linear functions, so we're just going to say this is more linear functions. We don't have a, a specific um, I can statement today, but you're going to be able to um, identify correlations on a scatter plot. You're going to be able to determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. You're going to look at a graph and be able to tell me if it's a linear function or not. And then you're going to use some slider tools in Math Excel um, for graphing. So you're going to do quite a few things, um, but I'm just not listing them out here on the notes. So as always, I expect you to write the notes down, do the examples, answer the Ed Puzzle questions. Um, you can pause, rewind whenever you need to. I will move a little bit faster um, on the video than I would in person. Um, just as usual, so just remember that you can pause and rewind whenever you need to. The first thing that we're going to look at is some vocabulary. So I'll write the vocabulary down and then you pause and write it down. Okay, so first we're going to talk about correlations and we have some vocabulary. Remember, pause, write the vocabulary down and listen to my explanations. So first we have scatter plot. A scatter plot is a group is a graph that relates two different sets of data by displaying them as ordered pairs. So you're given two different sets of data. You turn one into X, one into Y, you plot those on a graph. You guys have worked with scatter plots before. You've graphed them, you've looked at them, you've analyzed them. Um, so we're not going to spend a whole lot of time um, work, working to make scatter plots. Um, you will have some problems in Math Excel where you're given a table of values and you have to pick the scatter plot that matches. But I'm very confident that you guys can do that. You just look at the X values and the Y values, make sure those match, and then just create those ordered pairs and see where they would be on the graph. And um, it's multiple choice, so those should be fairly easy. When you're looking at a scatter plot, you can have correlations. There are three types. A positive correlation is when Y increases as X increases. So as X gets bigger, so does Y. And you can see this positive increase. You can see this nice slope. A negative correlation is when Y tends to decrease as X increases. So as X gets bigger, the Y gets smaller, and that gives us that negative slope. You can see that um, formation of almost a line there. No correlation is when X and Y aren't related. Um, there's no there's no real pattern. The points are just all over the place. Now, in your homework, you are going to have to look at a graph and decide if it's positive, negative, or no. You're also going to have to think about some scenarios and decide if you think it would be a positive correlation, a negative correlation, or no correlation. So an example of a positive correlation might be as... Um, as temperatures increase, so do ice cream sales. So as it gets warmer, um, the ice cream is sold more. Okay, so both are increasing. A negative correlation might be as, um, let's see, as temperatures increase, less people buy winter coats. Okay, that would make sense. Um, and then a no correlation might be um, the number of tennis shoes sold and ice cream sales. Ice cream sales and tennis shoes are probably not going to have any correlation. They're not really related. So there are three like scenario examples, and you're going to have to read some and make some decisions for yourself. Now, when we're talking about correlations, it's, it's important to think about causation. Causation is when a change in one, oh, and I forgot an eight. So a change in one quantity cha causes change in a second quantity. So that the X changes and it causes Y to change. Now, a correlation does not always imply causation. 
So like what we were talking about before, um, temperature increasing and ice cream sales increasing. It would be possible to come up with a causation there because as the temperature gets warmer, it usually makes people want to eat ice cream or colder foods. And so you might could come up with a causation there. Um, and then the winter coats and the temperatures, we that could um, possibly be causation. But let's say you were comparing um, the number of Nike tennis shoes sold and um, the number of Michael Kors purses sold. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something. Um, if you compare those, you might be able to see a correlation. I don't know. You might come up with one, um, just depending on what data you're looking at. But there's probably no causation there. I don't think that we could say buying Nike tennis shoes causes you to buy a Michael Kors purse or vice versa. Now, um, I know that's kind of hard to explain. If we were in person, we could have a conversation back and forth about it, and it might be a little clear. Um, but I hope that helps. I hope that um, is at least somewhat clear. But basically, you just need to know positive, negative, no correlation. A correlation does not always mean causation. Okay, and you need to be able to identify correct scatter plots. Next, we're going to talk about parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So when you're looking at a pair of lines, other equations, you should be able to tell if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Parallel lines never touch. So they go on and on forever. They never intersect. So um, we'll sketch out a little example. Okay, those two lines are parallel. They go on forever and never touch. When you look at their equations, you'll notice they have the same slope and different y-intercepts. So we have y equals 3x plus 8 and y equals 3x minus 6. They have the exact same slope and their intercepts are different. So those two lines would be parallel. Next we have perpendicular. Perpendicular lines have one intersection and they form a 90 degree angle. So that would be, and I'm not doing a very good job of drawing straight lines here, but they intersect and form 90 degrees, okay? When you look at their equations, you notice they have the opposite reciprocal slope so opposite refers to the sign, so positive and negative. Reciprocal is you turn that fraction upside down, or that whole number upside down. And um, their y-intercepts really don't matter. And I just realized that I did a bracket and parentheses, and that looks goofy. So let me just make another bracket. There we go. So perpendicular lines, the y-intercept doesn't matter. The y-intercept could be the same, or it could be completely different. Um, it doesn't really matter. What matters with perpendicular is that their slopes are opposite and reciprocal. So if we look at an example, we have y equals 2x minus 8 and y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. These are perpendicular because their slopes are opposite. So one is positive, one is negative, and they're reciprocals. If you turn 2 upside down, you get 1 half. Okay? Or vice versa, if you turn 1 half upside down, you get 2. You could also have lines that are neither. So you could have the exact same line, okay? So like y equals 1 half x plus 2 and y equals 0.5x plus 2. Those are the same, okay? Those are the exact same line. They would overlap. If you drew one on a graph, the other one would overlap it exactly. And so, like, we can draw a little example. I'll use two, um, two colors here. So if I was to draw that line, if I was doing the exact same line, they would overlap exactly, okay? Neither parallel, the other option or other way you can have neither is if it's not parallel or perpendicular or the same, okay? It's none of those. So here are some examples. So you have y equals 3x minus 12 and y equals negative 3x plus 12. Their slopes are similar, but are they the same? No. They are opposites, but are they also reciprocals? No. So those are neither. Here's another one. Y equals 6X minus 2. Y equals 1 8 X plus 4. The slopes are 6 and 1 8. 
Are those the same? No. Are they close to being opposite reciprocals? No. So those are neither. And when you see these on a graph, they're just going to intersect somewhere. They're probably they're not going to make a pretty 90 degree angle. Um, they can look lots of different ways, um, but they're they could inter they're going to intersect at some point on the graph and not at a 90 degree angle. So in your math Excel work, you're going to have to look at pairs of equations, and just by looking at the equations, you're going to have to decide if it's parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, the last thing we're going to look at is um, deciding if a graph is a linear function or not. So the word linear um, implies the word line, right? So for it to be a linear function, it has to be a straight line. So we're just going to look at the graphs and say yes or no. So, number one, do you think that's a linear function? No. It's got a curve. What about number two? Yes. Number three? Yes. And number four? No. Okay. So, that's the last thing. I, you have one or two problems like that in Math Excel. You just have to decide if it's a linear function, yes or no. Then, the very last problem in Math Excel, it's going to ask you to graph a line using like these interactive sliding tools. So the instructions are there. In the problem, it tells you exactly what to do. So you're going to use the little sliders to um, make a line. And then you're gonna, it gives you some ordered pairs. And you just pick which ordered pair is on that line. So you can just find those points on the graph and see which one is on the line that you graphed. Okay. Um, as always, if you have any questions or need any help, please, please, please let me know. Send me an email, hit the Ask My Instructor button, talk to me in the Google Meet, whatever you need to do. Um, but if you need help, make sure you let me know. Have a great day.